Hello and welcome to GMA Transmission Station and welcome to box one of Let's Open a Case Worth of Shadows of Renistrad. Why a case worth this time instead of a legitimate case? Well, due to the powers that be, or as I like to say, Soren and Liliana, I was not able to actually get an entire case at release day. So right now we have three boxes and I'll be getting another three boxes in a couple of days, which is fine seeing as how these videos take a little while to edit and bring up anyways. Now you might also be noticing, hmm, this video seems a tiny bit darker than the videos previously. I believe that the universe knew it was Shadows of Innistrad day today, and we have extreme cloud cover. The reason why we were able to get the amazing lighting we got last time is because we actually used natural light for all of these shoots, making it look really, really nice. So today, the videos are gonna be just a little darker. Don't worry, I've checked. You'll still be able to see and read all the cards just fine. So, a couple of very quick notes to get on here before we crack open our first box. Uh, note number one is because this is a case worth and not a proper legitimate case, the distribution is going to be a little different and a little interesting. We may end up getting, you know, amazing pulls across these six boxes. We may end up missing out on a lot of the major hits because we're getting three from one case, three from a different case. So, as far as what we're actually going to see when we open these boxes, it's going to be very, very interesting one way or the other. Next note is, GMA has a editor. We have a video editor now, so it's not just me typing in annotations into YouTube. Thank God. Uh, Josh is our new editor. You might have heard his voice on our first part of our set review for Shadows Over Innistrad. The reason why we did not continue that set review is because we ended up building his editing rig instead so that he would have his rig up in time for the Shadows Over Innistrad release so that everyone who watches our videos can enjoy seeing the prices of all of our cards no matter what platform they're watching on. This means that not just the desktop viewers will be able to see the prices, now mobile viewers, PS4 viewers, Xbox One viewers, whatever device you're viewing our videos on, you'll now be able to see our prices. Yay! That is of course my lovely wife back there who will be sorting cards so that I can sit here and crack packs for you guys. And good luck to me and our first box of Shadows Over Innistrad. Now, to try to make this video run a little quicker, um, I'm not going to talk about a whole heck of a lot of the cards. We're just going to kind of move on pretty quickly. There's a few noteworthy cards in this set that I personally really like and have some opinions on. And when we crack those cards, I will take a minute to talk about them. But other than that, we're just going to move right along pretty quickly here with our first box. <sighs> Opening shadows over in a straw on a dark, cloudy day. Very dark, cloudy packs. Very dark, cloudy day. Feels so right, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get a move on. Oh man, we got a big dark cloud coming too. <laughs> Don't say that, we can't afford for the lighting to get any darker. After a certain point it goes from being mood lighting to quite annoying for everyone trying to watch. I agree. And brain in a jar. And our flip. And we got our first flip rare here. Flavorful. So two rares in the very first pack. There's the flip. Neither of them incredibly noteworthy, but still, two rares in the very first pack. That's always fun. So go ahead in the comments below, let us know what you think of the editing style, how the price annotations are put in the video, all that kind of stuff. Just let us know your thoughts on the way that the price annotations are going to be done. That way we have some feedback for our new editor. Hey, first mythic. 
Not one of the ones you want, but hey. First mythic. And mana. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are actually two flip rares in this set that are pretty dang valuable right now. Uh, Westfell Abbey and Thing in the Ice. Thing in the Ice is actually the one I really, really want to see in person. That's the one that I'm most hyped about. That card's amazingly cool. And as you can see, my wife's hands reaching across the table for the cards so that they may be sorted into their respective piles, never to see the friends of their booster pack ever again. Such is the fate of Innistrad cards. Indeed. Woo. Woo. Now that's what I call, um... <laughs> sorry to break your video here, love. <clears throat> that's what I call a placement card. Yeah. Placement cards in this set are pretty cool. <laughs> Weird. Eh. Interesting fall. Find my rare. <laughs> the the way that the slotting in these packs is done really throws me off. It's going to take me about a box to get used to the slotting. Because it's really different. Hey! Our first rare duel, our first rare land. Would you guys let me know what you think of the land cycle in this set? It's pretty interesting. It's not obviously one of the best rare land cycles we've had, but I don't think it's one of the worst. And I actually think right now it's a little undervalued. You know, they all started at about five or six dollars right before release for, you know, pre prices. And they started to fall to about four dollars a piece. And I think it's a little low. I think it's a cool land cycle. <laughs> I thought it was Westville Abbey for half a second. <laughs> and there's our foil rare. I actually have no idea what that's worth. I am curious. Oh, by the way, just a quick mention. Probably my favorite flip card, to be honest. It's just, just so cool. The logger... Turns into the Shredder. That's just a cool flip card. Mm -hmm. And also with this set, I noticed that Wizards has gotten really creative with their flavor text. Yeah, the flavor text in this set is amazing. Just the, the flavor of this whole set is amazing. Just, it's, man... They hit it so right during this whole set. I was initially kind of not too keen about the whole going back to Innistrad thing. I was really not into the whole idea for a while. But then just as I started to see more and more of what was in this set and just the way they were doing it and how much they seemed to actually really care, I just, I really got into it. 
And I'm really actually rather happy with the set at the end of the day. Hey, there we go. Another very undervalued rare. I think that's going to see some serious play later. I just don't think anyone really recognizes it yet. Just delirium is so easy to get off, especially in formats like Commander. So far, no hits yet. And we're almost one third done with the first box. Nothing to write home about. I haven't even got to see some of my favorite mythics yet, which aren't even the incredibly valuable ones. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, that's the werewolf that you need to get that whole werewolf deck online. Basically, that's the key card for if you want to do tribal werewolf. Without that, the flip mechanics, the werewolves are really unstable. Oh man, this is a bummer box. This is a real bummer box. Boo. Come on. For something fun. Give me something to get excited about. Doesn't even have to be, you know, expensive. Just something fun. Come on, man. Just something entertaining. No, just doesn't have to be broken. Just a little broken. <laughs> just a little broken. Just a little broken. Like my soul. <laughs> no, there we go. Not a bad rare. It's one of the better rares. Tristadecophobia. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite cards in the set. Sadly, not worth much of anything, but that's because it's such an impossible card to really get off. I mean, it's it's a wonderful, wonderful, one of the most flavorful cards that's ever been printed in years. Um, there's just, there's a billion and one instances of the, actually the number 13 in here, and the name of the card actually means the fear of the number 13, and it's it's a beautiful, wonderful card. I love that card to death. And our foil. <laughs> evil. <laughs> Did you find evil? Evil's in the name of the foil. <laughs> How the cloudy skies reflect off the foiling of the... Shadows over in a stride booster packs. Mm. All we're missing is a black cat. <laughs> to finish setting the mood. Right. Don't torment me with a black cat, man. I want to get a black cat and name it Max. <laughs> uh, 
Ooh, man. I want to get a decent card out of this box. <laughs> if we really only pulled one Mythic? I'm going to have to go back and check, but I think we've really only pulled one Mythic. Unless you're accidentally handing me Mythics over here. Oh, no. That I know isn't happening. But, man. This box is as gloomy as the weather. Uh, we would turn on, you know, some nice light mood lighting. <laughs> However, we don't have any overhead lighting that would be good for any of this. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, people can still see and read the cards just fine. And it does provide a nice atmosphere for opening Shadows of Ernest Rod. It's very dark. Oh, man. All I can think about is our first box that we did for uh, Oath of the Gatewatch, where we pulled the foil Chandra. Yeah. Do we get a foil Jace in this box? That'd be okay. That'd be a beautiful thing. He's not even the most valuable points walker in the set. I'd be happy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Even the advertisement card is flavorful. Right. Uh, I think so far my favorite black card that I've found here is Rancid Rats. You like the Rancid Rats? Mm -hmm. uh, the flavor text says... They're in the walls. Can, can't you hear them? Hope <laughs> <laughs> hmm. oh, there's no rats in my walls. Well, we are on a college campus, so. <laughs> hey, our second rare land. There's probably rats next to us. Oh, there we go. To change? Hello. There's an Advison. Oh, hell yeah, cha-ching. There we go. Thank you, Box. That's pretty. That's very pretty. There we go. That's an upgrade. Level up. <laughs> The Mountain of Dead Booster Packs is building. Oh, hey, there we go. Two Mythics back to back, and it's not a bad Mythic either. It's the Olivia Mythic. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought it was the rare one for half a second. Nope. Nope. It's just a foul orchard. Aww. Still, not bad. Another decent mythic. Uh, well, I had to think. <laughs> Thank you.
By the way, another really cool, really flavorful, awesome flip card here. It goes from the heirloom to the actual blade, which is just really, really on point for flavor. Alrighty, our box is heating up. It's getting a little warmer. Come on, focus. And the camera wanted to give up on focusing for a second. <laughs> Not a bad mythic. Not a mythic you want to see, but not a bad one either. And they're foil. I'm just trying to think, are the clue tokens the only tokens in this set? Uh, no, uh, what do you mean? Uh, tokens. You know, tokens? Yeah. You yeah, know, there's normal tokens in here. There's the cards where you can mark multiple. Well, no, I know that there's those, but uh, I'm referring to legitimate token tokens. Yeah, there's token tokens. First, I was thinking clear tokens were the only tokens. Oh, another cool flip card here. Last 12 packs of box one. Almost being stubborn, that means it's got value in it, right? Definitely. And the way this works? Mm -hmm. The packs sold the best cards make you fight for them the most? Absolutely. Sounds logical to me. Mmm. Not the flip rare we want. Not the flip rare we want. You know, like everyone else, obviously, I've been consuming, you know, other channels that do booster box openings. And I've watched a few boxes of Shadows of Innistrad so far, and I don't think I've ever seen a single box that didn't have either a Westvel Abbey or a Thing in the Ice, if not both. So, I'm kind of wondering where mine is. <laughs> Oh, another decent mythic. Pretty angel. It's a very pretty angel. Mm -hmm. mm. Mediocre box is mediocre, apparently. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Hope our local hookup makes some big bucks off this. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was thinking about it, like, Shadows of Ernest Drive would probably be definitely one of the funnest sets to draft. Mm -hmm. I would really enjoy drafting this set. What would make it really fun to draft with this set? Uh, just between the mechanics, the... You know, like, let me put it this way. It's one of the few sets that I've seen where you'd be able to draft it and actually pull off, like, a really good tribal deck. Like, it's one of the only times I could ever see anyone actually playing a werewolf deck, like, mm -hmm. legitimately, mm -hmm. is if they were drafting the set. Mm. What the? Okay. Sorry, for half a second, I thought we actually got the same rare back-to-back. -back. Those rares are incredibly identical looking. I mean, the only way I'd definitely play a you know werewolf deck is if I was drafting this. Like you draft to get that rare flip werewolf that brings all the other werewolves pretty much online and makes them controllable, and you've got a fun draft deck. Oh, cool! That I might just keep for myself. That's oh man. That's way too cool. Okay, I'm happy about that. Foil Timber Shredder. That that I might just keep for me. I love the process of the double foils. I can't imagine how much work that's got to involve for wizards. They managed to make those double-sided foils. Want the journal? The journal. The journal. Oh no! It's the journal. How dare! I didn't want the journal. Why didn't you want the journal? It's not a good card. <laughs> it's Aww. a bad rare. Aww. It's a very bad rare. It depresses me. Bad rares depress me. It might be fine and limited, but other than that, bad rare. And, hey, our third land, our third rare land. Ooh, hey, cool. Once again, not sure what that goes for. Sword Swallower Foil. But two foil rares in the box. Hey, it's my Motorhead. What, what did Motorhead show up in a card pack for? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's making a reference to the mobile game Dragon uh, DreamWorks Dragon's Rise of Burke. <laughs> yeah. There's a dragon in the game called a Sword Swallower. She asked me what she should nickname the dragon because it, you know, looked all badass and metal looking. And was trying to think of a name of a good metal band to nickname the dragon after. I told her Motorhead. <laughs> it's the Motorhead Dragon. <laughs> and. Three packs left. 
Sorry, this video is running a tiny bit long. I'm actually at 33 minutes right now. I wanted to keep all these under 30, but <laughs> there was a lot of updates. We have a new editor. We've got things going on. Well, the first videos are always the longest, and then, you know, after this one, we'll be able to just clip, clip, clip. Yep. And Josh will be going snip, snip, snip. Yep. Had to let people know about the awesome giveaway. Giving away unhinged rares. And those cards deserve to have a man. They're unhinged rares. They're awesome. How can you not love a Johnny Combo player? Letter bomb. Letter bomb. Are you going to be sad to see the letter bomb go? Very. Sniffles. And of course, I'm over here doing the easy job. I just got to crack packs. My wife's over there doing all the sorting. So any likes this video gets, uh, I'm donating directly to my wife. All the <laughs> likes are for my wife. She's the one doing the hard work over there, so. Dungeon crawling wifey. Yep. That's okay, I'm getting pretty good at doing these really quick, so. Oh, well that's a bonus. Hmm. Oh, nice. Last pack. We got our Westvale Abbey. Very nice. Very nice. Last pack. If everything went according to plan, right now you should be seeing a total box breakdown with the price that I paid for this box, the value of all the rares and the noteworthy foils, and what the profit or loss that I personally made on this box was. So I hope that you enjoyed the first booster box of Shadows Over Innistrad. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can be entered to win the unhinged rares along with a couple of booster packs of Shadows Over Innistrad for your trouble. If you would like to buy any of these cards from me personally, I'll have a link to my Card Shark account in the description. It won't increase your chances of winning, but hey, at least you'll know exactly where your rares are coming from, right? Thank you very much for watching the first box of Shadows Over Innistrad. We'll see you all very shortly in box number two. Say goodbye, Kate. Bye.